Well, everyone knows Red Cross comes in to help out during disasters. This has been a major disaster. How are the efforts going and where are your people deployed? Because they're not here in Raleigh right now. Yeah, you're absolutely right. The large and small disasters happen all the time, but on this case, it's a large scale disaster for the Red Cross, challenging our ability to respond because it is uh, across multiple counties, about uh, 25 to 30 counties in eastern North Carolina is where we've had to deploy both our volunteer resources, our equipment, and many of our paid staff, which are few to begin with anyway. So these volunteers are massing a response. We've got about 250 of them across the areas in Greenville, Gold Goldsboro, Kinston, uh, Lumberton, Fayetteville, all trying to make a difference for these families impacted. And these are not going to go away. These issues are not going to go away any day soon. This is going to continue for a while. Right. The, the best uh, part for folks to understand is that this is the flood that is um, of epic proportions for that portion of the state. It's a beautiful sunny day today, but the waters continue to rise. They're going to stay crested and stay at high levels for a week or two weeks more. This is not going to be something that happens in, uh, today and is gone tomorrow. These families are in a, a challenging circumstance for a number of weeks. There are kids and, and families that are out of their homes. They're in shelters now. They're in some of the schools that are having to be closed as well. So Right. The whole community is disrupted. Uh, regular commerce is disrupted. Regular school days are disrupted. So there's an economic impact. So that's the additional reason why we ask for financial support because then we're putting dollars into the econ economy, buying items in that uh, neighboring uh, communities to try to keep the economic su uh, system supported a bit. But this is a challenging time for the folks in those communities and more importantly it's uh, that they need food, they need shelter and the Red Cross and other agencies are responding. Sometimes people don't know how to ask for help in a situation like this. They don't know where to turn to get started. Where do they need to go? Well, the first uh, thing to do is to go to those shelters in their community. Contact their local Red Cross chapter. We have an 800 number available to victims of the, uh, the flooding for them to call. You can begin now if you're in 13 eastern North Carolina uh, counties that have been declared by the federal government and begin to apply for FEMA assistance, a uh, true high level of assistance both through federal loans and then federal grant programs are available to these families starting now. And for people who are outside of the flood areas, they want to help as well. What is the need? Well, the need is, I and mean, we've been asking for volunteers, we've got a number of those, but those are in those communities. So you, can, you have to be able to travel. You have to be able to commit a couple of weeks uh, because we can't just run volunteers in and out. And where there's a process. We have to protect our clients. And we have to also assure that the volunteer is capable of doing the work. So consider becoming a Red Cross volunteer. One of the other things that have happened is across the Carolinas, we've lost about 2,000 uh, blood donors opportunities and area hospitals rely on the Red Cross when they call asking for those units of blood we're down about 2,000 available units because we've had to postpone blood drives because schools are uh, closed businesses are closed and people are doing other activities I know the food banks are always looking for food uh, donations. You guys help with food, feeding people as well, but is money or food or both? What is really yeah, the need for, there? Yeah, for us, uh, we buy the food and prepare it. The food bank gives you those staples, the, the, the flour, the sugar, the dry beans, the breads, and things for you to take to your home and prepare meals. What we're doing is buying items uh, like you would buy or see people buy at a restaurant uh, from the USDA wholesalers and all, and then producing food and taking that food either in feeding routes to where the homes are infected, to the shelters or to drop sites for uh, feeding people as the cleanup effort begins.